for real. We played Spoon Man on repeat today a couple no, times or no. Yeah. No, okay. No, no, no. Uh, first up, yeah. um, we got some restock. Back in stock. Some of the chip shortage is finally over. We've got SAMD 21 E18s in. And so we've got the Cutie Pie SAMD 21. We've been going over with the RP2040 for a while. And of course, we've got the ESP32 version and S2 and S3. But some people want the classic. Uh, so we got the classic. We also have Circuit Playground Express is back in stock. Finally, finally, finally. There are tons of schools and tons of things that... Uh. That have been come that happened to all of us for the last few years, but it's happening. It's here, back. Yes, it's back. It's back. So if back. you've been looking for Circuit Playground Expresses, and we'll have some of those base kits on stuff, we, we want to get the the you know the original back in. Um, we'll get all the sub kits in stock back. soon too. Bye. Okay, next up we've got uh, relegendable keycaps in black. Um, so we had them in white, but some people are like, no, I want them to be gother. Uh, so these are two part keycaps. Um, and you can see here, like, yeah, the like plastic this. piece. So you can remove the top from the bottom, and then you put in, you know, a sticker, a little piece of paper, um, a label. They are MX compatible. They are fully symmetric all four ways. So there's no tilt or anything. And they're basically like DSA profile. They're not exactly DSA, but they're basically DSA, but fully symmetric. Um, so these are really good for um, if you're using a, maybe a macro pad, we're selling in packs of 10 because no matter what number we sell in a pack, it's always the wrong number. So we just picked like 10. like the hot dog bun problem. Okay. Right now. So it's 10. Next up. Uh, next up, we've got an update for the Witty Pi 4 Mini. Um, a couple updates. It's USB-C. They've kind of redesigned some of the components. It's functionally the same. Um, this is a, a nice little... Um, Real-time clock and like automatic set or up or shut or down are like one button to shut down and restart. Uh, it's got built-in battery backup. It's a very nice, um, nicely designed um, real-time clocks slash power management tool for your Raspberry Pi. Even though it's, um, you know, Pi mini sized, like Pi Zero sized, it'll work with the standard uh, full size raspberry pi as well it looks like a very nice build all right next up the star of the show besides you besides our community besides our customers besides our staff this is finally here there are so many things we've been waiting for so long it's here it's in the store yes. right yes. now this second yes i did put some in the store and i didn't notify people so that everyone so if you're watching this show price, you can actually get these you can go and right get now them. because if we notify everyone who signed up they'll instantly go good. out but if you're watching a live show this is why it's special to watch live shows that's right it's here it's really here oh my god Oh my God. The uh, Metro M7 is our first board for the IMX RT series. Uh, this is a very powerful series of chips. We've had Cortex M0s, we've had some Cortex M3s, we've had Cortex M4s. Why not more M's? Cortex M7. Right. So this is a, a powerful core. You know, it's got floating point, it's got uh, very it's, high it's speed clocking. You know, we got beautiful photos, cool. But you know what? Do well, you want to show it live? Do, doing it live. Doing it live. Uh, so this is the uh, Metro M7. I'll put it over here. This is great. We can see us. Um, so in the middle is the Metro M7 chip. That's this one. Uh, it's the RT I, IMX RT 1011D. So it runs at about 500 megahertz. It's very fast. Um, the trade-off is, is that this chip is fairly inexpensive for how powerful it is because it doesn't have a lot of RAM. And I did want to mention that. So it only has 128K of RAM. Which sounds like a lot, but like you need to have like half of it for the, you know, um, instruction cache, which we might tweak in Circuit Python. But basically, it it feels like sixty four k of RAM. It's not a ton of RAM. You can do stuff with it. It's very very fast. Um, but just be aware that you you don't get to use all of that, and it's um, it's not a roomy, you know, like our ESP thirty twos with PS RAM. Um, they're so roomy, and they have like two megabytes of PS RAM. Not yet. We're getting there. We're going to start with this chip that has 128, and we'll move up the family. Check out last week's Iron MPI video where we talk about the family of RT chips. Um, we might move to the 1020, 1040 as we make our way up to the 1060 or 1160. So, um, so you know, 500 megahertz, uh, no built-in flash, 128K of RAM. Um, this is the flash chip. It's 8 megabytes. It's QSPY, so it's nice and fast. Looks like the RP2040, the flash memory is off chip. Um, there's boot select switches. There is a built-in ROM bootloader. We load it with Teeny UF2 as well. So there's a secondary bootloader with a nice drag and drop and like NeoPixel lights up and all that good stuff. 
Uh, a lot of passives uh, because it has uh, the cool ability to generate all the internal voltages it needs from 3.3 volts, which is what makes it inexpensive, and you can do it on a two-layer board. Um, we've got the standard Arduino form factor, which we just like to start with. It's familiar. We can use shields with it. A lot of accessories work with Arduino, um, so you can plug it in. It's a 3-volt logic chip. It's not 5-volt compatible. Um, that's to be expected. The ARM Cortex series pretty much is always 3.3, sometimes 5, but very, very rarely. Uh, you've got uh, hardware SPI and I2C. That means we do have a lot of pins, right? We have six analog pins. Uh, we've got the 14 digital pins here, plus two I2C, plus another four SPI. So like do the math, it's like 20 something GPIO. Uh, and um, also SWD with the SWO pin connected. So you can do traces. Scott might do a video soon where he shows uh, some of the trace capability of the M7 series. Um, so you, the, J, the SWD and SWO pins are brought out for advanced debugging. I, that's another reason I love the Metro format for chips. It's like we want to get the debugger going. Um, Stemma QT port, plug and play, I2C. Uh, there is also, you know, I had a, a bunch of space, so I decided let's stick a uh, ESP32 on there. It has the airlift firmware, so you can use this to do... Uh, Wi-Fi communication. So it communicates over SPI and CircuitPython. You can use it to request um, websites. Yeah, the say, horsepower for it to make sense. Yeah, it's like, just, it's gonna, fast. It's going to be fast. Well, we'll see. It's going to do computational stuff, and then we're going to use chips that bump up the RAM. So we're going to it's going to get juicy real fast. Um, oh, USB C for powering NeoPixel uh, pin thirteen red LED reset button um, DC jack on and off. DC in, you know, 9 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts is good. Um, power supply regulator here. I might change this. I went with an LDO, but I might change up this 5 volt to be a uh, switch converter on the next revision. We'll see. And on the back, a lovely silk screen comes with bumpers. Um, some explanation of, of what you get in the board. But basically, you know, this is a really good competitor to the M4 series. So, you know, if, you, if you're interested in the SAMD51, um, but you want more M hertzes, uh, you want more M hertzes, you need to go from M4 to M7 and that'll get you 500 megahertz. So we're going to, um, you know, we have some circuit Python support. Um, there isn't Arduino support at this time, um, was something we'll look into, but it's not a priority for us. We're going to kind of focus on making sure circuit Python works really well on it. Um, but you can also use NXP Espresso, which I've used, and they have, you know, command line uh, make files that we've used to write code, and it works really well. They have a good SDK. Um, so if you really want to write, like, very fast code that runs on the processor kind of, like, natively without CircuitPython, um, I would recommend you can do that NXP Espresso for now. All right. And with that, that is new products.